Are we wrong as Catholics to um, exalt Mary so much? Is, is it biblical? The Protestants would say, no, it's not biblical. Well, I found something that I think is very, very biblical and demolishes any Protestant arguments against us. St. Peter himself, first pope, better, better than you can have, really, for something like this. Peter is speaking to um, Jews in the diaspora, I think just there to say. He says that uh, Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the exiles of the diaspora in Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. Okay? So that's for the Christian Jews, mostly. But as it's the Holy Spirit, it's for us all as well. Right. In chapter 3, verse 6. It says, and I'll start with the um, I'll start with the where it starts as a new sentence, chapter chapter three, verse five. So once the holy women, who hoped in God, used to adorn themselves, and were submissive to their husbands, as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord. And you are now her children, if you do right and let nothing terrify you. So these Christian Jews are told by St. Peter that they are the children of Sarah, the wife of Abraham, a mere woman. All right, not a mere woman, but a great woman, but a woman married to a patriarch of the Old Testament. So if Christian Jews are being spoken to by St. Peter as being children of Sarah, then how much more are we to say that they are, they are children of Mary? Because just as Abraham was the physical father of the Jews, and therefore the physical father of the Christian Jews, so Mary, being the mother of Jesus, who is our father and brother, both at the same time, so Mary must be even more than Sarah, our mother. Where is that? Uh, 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 6. Okay. So we must, they must be children of Mary. And this extends then to all of us because the uh, followers of Jesus are not just limited to Jews now. So although Peter is writing to the Jews and they are specially children of Sarah, we are specially children of Mary because this is a spiritual race now if you put it that way uh, the catholic people are one people drawn out of all the races of mankind so we can say that if somebody says don't call yourself a child of mary they'd have to say oh yeah but you can call yourself a child of sarah because the bible says how inconsistent would that person be and of course the only people who say that are protestants so how inconsistent would that protestant person be so they need to really pay attention and meditate upon what St. Peter, St. Peter is saying, I repeat, chapter 1, Saint, sorry, first letter of St. Peter, chapter 3, verse 6. How therefore we are children of Mary, and again, it says, if you do right, and let nothing terrify you. Right, so that's another um, nail in the coffin of um, salvation by faith alone, because of course, if Peter says you've got to be children of, Mary, of Sarah only if you do right, then of course you, you, that shows you must do good and not, be, uh, not just have faith. You don't just be a, a child of Sarah if you have faith. You must do right. And thus we tie together in many aspects of Catholic Mariology to just through scripture that we find she is there at the beginning at the end and she is there right there when St. Peter's speaking. So that is what I really wanted to get across about the Blessed Virgin today. Any thoughts, anyway, before I go on to... Very interesting. Yeah, I think it's... Um, I, I've not read in any of the uh, great Catholic writers focusing on that in, in St. Peter. But I think it's really... Uh, I don't think it's just me imagining it. No, I just read it. It's very interesting. Yeah. yeah.